and actually demonstrate a decline in peak flow rates during the work week and an increase in uh, peak flow rates when people are away from work. And then the, the evaluation of patients with occupational asthma. I like to do an evaluation when they're away from work for uh, about a week. Um, so we can really document uh, that they have a sustained improvement in peak flow rates uh, while they're away from work. Uh, which are the allergens that has been seen more frequent in occupational asthma? Well, there are, there are several, and uh, uh, they, they involve plant products, they involve animal products, uh, they involve chemicals, and even some metals in, in the workplace. Um, uh, we can, uh, one of the, the most common um, uh, causes that we see in the United States, and I think this is true worldwide, is diisocyanate uh, from people who are spray painters, who, uh, who paint, uh, particularly those who don't use respiratory protection. For example, a patient could wear overalls, okay? But if the antigen gets on the overalls, okay, uh, and they go outside, they can, they can still be exposed. Uh, some workers actually take the antigen home with them to their house and they'll sit down in a chair or a couch with dirty clothes and, and get re-exposed at home. So it could be a very complicated thing. Um, and so the most practical solution uh, is to you know, have the patient removed from the environment that causes the asthma.